Hello everyone, hope you guys are all doing great. Uh, hello also to all my CBB ninjas, hope you guys are doing fine. So I created this Google Sheets CRM for chatbots agency. Okay, so if you own a agency and you're looking for a way to organize your sales and your appointment and customer reviews, um, I'd like you to take a look at this uh, Google Sheets CRM. Okay, so I designed it specifically for those of you that have agencies. But uh, if you work, you know, in other niches, you know, like uh, coaching and um, maybe appliance repair, you know, electrician, I think you can also find this thing useful. All right, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly take you on a tour to see all the different parts um, of this uh, Google Sheet CRM and then we're going to make it do a little bit of work, right? We're going to test it out in real time. We're going to test out uh, how a new uh, lead will come in, maybe through like a chatbot, right? Um, of course, you can enter the lead manually, but you know you, we're gonna see how a chatbot integrates with it. Uh, uh, how you you know what steps you take next, you know in terms of uh, entering the sales amount, date of date of sale, and stuff like that. And also after the sale is made, we want to send them a um, you know a link for them to review us. All right, so we're just gonna see how it works, kind of like in real time. All right. So um, the first part of it, as you can see here, it's I call it a dashboard, right? This looks pretty much like a dashboard. Okay, on the left hand side, uh, all the way here, you have like a navigation bar. So I added these ones just to make it easy for you to navigate through it. But you can always use the the tabs at the bottom to navigate. Okay. But I just added this navigation. Maybe I was doing too much. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so on this side, you see that there is a weather widget, right? Looks pretty much like a weather widget. I can't, I can't say widget. Weather widget. Okay, so it's a weather widget. Okay, so uh, I figured out maybe I should put that in there, right? Maybe you might get a client who probably have to um, commute to go see them you know and do work at their office or something you know you might want to check out how the weather looks now I know there are different ways you can check the weather right but how cool is it if you have it right here on your CRM right and you can quickly check the weather see you know if you need to uh, take a jacket with you or an umbrella or something you know I don't know anyways Google Sheets has so many tools guys so many it's amazing how powerful a Google Sheet is it's pretty much like you could build a, a, a software you know with Google Sheet it's so powerful many people don't realize a lot of people use like probably 0.05% of Google Sheets capacity all right but anyway so here is the weather widget now if you want to set this up you're gonna need an API key all right so it acts pretty much like how you would do with an external request all right so it's gonna make an external request to a weather website and then uh, the uh, the weather website will update the information okay and you're gonna need a JavaScript code to pull, um, you know, the weather update. So uh, this is where you go to paste your your script. Okay. So once you get in here, actually, let me show you where you you go to. So it's uh, on extensions, and then you click on app app script like that, and then it brings you right over here. Okay. So uh, ChatGPT will generate a script for you if you want to use ChatGPT, but you don't have to. I have already done that for you. So the script is right inside of the documentation part uh, of the tab right over here. I have it under documentation, all right? So you don't have to do that, okay? So once um, you get the script, you just paste the script right over here, okay? And inside of the script, 
uh, I know it does look a bit intimidating but I know you guys are smart you know so you know pretty much what's going on all you're doing here is that you're gonna replace certain things you know you're gonna customize the script right so put in the tab where you want the uh, weather website to send your data to all right and then you want to update your api key all right now in order to get the api key you want to get it from a weather website i right? i recommend you go with these guys called um the visualcrossing.com all right that's the one i'm using now okay so just go over there uh create a free account real quick all right they do have pricing but they offer you um you know they have a free version okay and they offer you like a thousand records a day i'm assuming that's a re request okay i don't know if you would need that much all right so go in create an account real quick and then uh in your account section right here uh they will allow you to create your api key okay so you can just go in um get your key uh, you can come over here to Query Builder and uh, you can go over here where it says API and uh, you can create your own, okay? Right over here, uh, you can choose your uh, custom city right over here. Um, you can you can choose where it says language, you can put HTTP here, you put CSV. You can do daily, hourly, all right? Generate your API key. Uh, you can use the one that I have here, all right? Just make sure you update uh, the city, change the state, and just, you know, uh, update and customize this part, okay? Once you're done, hit run, and then you see right here where it says execution started, execution completed. So that indicates that your request is working well, okay? Now, one other thing um, you also need to do after you test your external request right here is you wanna go in where it says triggers and uh, right over here, triggers, and then you wanna create a trigger, okay? That's important because the purpose of the trigger is that let's assume you do not have a trigger right as soon as you generate the request and the website send this to you that's all it's gonna send all right now you know this is weather right so you gotta get some uh 30 minutes update weather update 15 minutes weather update you know you need frequent updates right because it's weather right so you want to create a trigger the purpose of the trigger is to request um weather updates from the website uh based on your time settings okay so right over here it says fetch data and update sheet okay right over here it says time driven so i have it set at minutes and then i said i need requests every let's say 15 minutes right or every 30 minutes right okay or you could set it up to daily i just have it set up here to 15 I'm just gonna set it. Yeah, well, let me just leave it at 15. All right, and then you hit save. You can always come back and um, you know customize it. All right, every 15 minutes you are gonna have updates. Uh, you're gonna it, the system will request for updated weather information from the website. Okay, and then the website will send it right over here. And then you, and then I have a formula that calls specific parts of the data okay i just want about four days um weather report right all right so i hope that was helpful the next part right here is the lead sales by state okay so this is sort of like a map now i just customize it to the u.s for those of you in the u.s okay so if you are other parts um you know if you're not in the united states maybe you might want to use a different map if you are in south america you might want to use a south america map all right so anytime uh a lead comes in and uh you sell something to the lead right uh so let me go over to the incoming data tab maybe right this will be helpful 
okay so let's say we sold something to Marco uh, we will have right here uh, we sold a seven thousand dollars worth of service and then we put the date of sale right so we know Marco is in New York right so anytime I, I fill this two boxes up uh, the New York State area is highlighted okay so if there is no if there is no sale and uh, no date of sale you notice right here that New York uh, state map has nothing in it okay so every time there is a I, I fill these two uh, cells up you will notice that this is updated right here okay so I thought this would also be useful um, for those of you that want to know let me uh, refresh this thing real quick sometimes I need to refresh it just to make everything fall in place I guess it's a Google sheet thing so uh, I thought I would add this for those of you that uh, want to know what states do leads that buy from you live all right where are your leads coming from all right so maybe you need to i don't know focus more on that state spend more advertising budget i don't know it's up to you i just thought it would be useful all right so to the right side of it is upcoming appointments i thought that would also be useful since you know as an agency you're gonna be uh, booking lots of appointments so how cool is it when you come to your dashboard and on the right side is gonna you're gonna have a little cute window that shows you your upcoming appointment okay so you can see right here Gordon Marco is the next one coming up all right uh, we're gonna test this thing like I said in real time to see how when uh, you know a new lead books appointment we'll see that new lead pops up right here okay so the most recent appointment will go to the top and the others at the bottom okay all right underneath it I have the all-time sales so it's displaying all-time sales all-time commissions and uh, total sale count so far I just put in some um, some dummy um, content right so here we can see that uh, so far we have how many sales do we have one two three four five six seven eight so the dashboard is showing that right here okay all right uh, over here we have uh, sales rep performance so uh, for those of you that have other sales rep let's say you have a team of three or four right you can use this sheet to assign sales reps to clients and see how well they are performing okay so you can see right here the sales agent's name the amount of sales the, sale, uh, the agent has generated commissions you know sales count right over here all right if it's just you you don't have to worry about it so uh, you are free to customize this thing if you want to all right um, here we have lead source uh, to sales. so here we want to know uh, which advertising platform is bringing us the most uh, leads right so we know Facebook has generated thirty thousand dollars in sales, right? Uh, for sales so far, right? So with this information, uh, that's the cool thing about having a dashboard like this, right? It gives you a bird's eye view of what's going on with your business. So here you can use this to make a good business decision, right? Because you know, hmm. Facebook is where I'm getting most of my sales from. Maybe I should, you know, reduce my advertising budget on YouTube, pump more of it uh, to Facebook, right? So these kind of chats and widgets can help you make good business decisions. On the right here, this part here shows monthly sales, so you can easily view, um, you know, how much you made uh, in a specific month, right? Uh, that's also helpful. So all of these are pulled over here using um, Google Sheet formula. Okay, so underneath here I also added another widget which I thought would be useful. This is your review widget. So after you've uh, done your job, a good way to 
uh, improve the reputation of your business and make your business trustworthy is to, uh, you know, get reviews from your clients, right? So when your clients, you could send them maybe like a link or, you know, if you are close to them, maybe you can pull out a QR code, let them scan it right there and ask them to leave you a review all right uh, so if you have a chatbot you can create a review flow okay so i have um you know i have I, and by the way i built um you know a chatbot to go with it all right so if you're interested let me know uh, i can give you a copy of this if you are interested in a copy of uh, the template so you create a, uh, a review flow and then send it out to them. Maybe QR code if you if you if you're that person, uh, or you can send a link. And then when they send the review, the review will go right into your um, your incoming. We're gonna get in there your incoming data section. And also, I use a formula to call information about the review, the name, uh, what they said. I know this is cut off but it's just a widget you know so if you want to read the full review you can go right here and read what exactly what they said all right uh, and then uh, you will have the stars right over here also okay and then at the bottom here is another cool thing that I added uh, this allows you to quickly look for somebody so let's say you know you have about maybe a thousand clients right and but let's say you need to call a certain client right and you don't know the number right so we want to we know the client's name let's say the client's name is um covington right but we don't know covington's number and covington is in the midst of thousands right here so all you got to do is just come in here and you can type in the name let's say here Covington Covington right and then once you hit submit it's gonna pull Covington right up here for you now you got Covington's number and email and you can contact him all right so we're gonna clear this all right and then the data uh, reloads back up okay you can also search uh, for the lead by phone number. All right. So if we enter, uh, let's say uh, we are searching for uh, Gary Payton, right? So we enter in uh, 510-388-5000 and hit submit. It pulls Gary Payton right here to the top. All right. And then you can also search by email, all right? But you guys can test that out, you know, if you want to. But I configured it so you can search name, email, phone number. You probably could do CD2, all right? So uh, that that does it for the dashboard. Um, let's go into the incoming data. So whenever you get a new lead, okay, uh, that comes in from your website or maybe you're running some Facebook ads or something like that and then the, the lead is gonna come in right through here okay uh, and then uh, when if you are sending the leads through a chatbot uh, it will come in through here the date when you got the lead will show up right over here uh, you will have some information some other information will not show yet right like address um you know because when you're trying to engage a new lead you don't want to ask them for their address right you just want their name and number phone number email maybe a, uh, appointment time and you know dates if they want to book an appointment maybe a zoom call something like that uh so this is going to be your incoming data if you need to do any edits this is where you want to come in to do edits okay don't try to edit stuff right because this right here is a dashboard it's a widget uh, and it's being displayed by a Google sheet um, formula okay so all your edits should come right here inside your incoming data okay so over here you have quite a lot of stuff going on you can customize that uh, the next one here it's another cool feature I added. This lets you filter 
your appointment by date okay so if you want to know how many appointments do I have in January all right uh, you can tell let's now right here you can really eyeball it and tell right but if you have like about 500 leads sometimes you know it could be a little bit difficult you know to sift through all of that um, you know but I just added this maybe you might not need it but I thought it would be cool to be able to filter out how many appointments I have uh, for the month of January right so over here we have a few appointments so let's see for the month of January how many appointments we have all right so the start date is uh, January 1st 2024 and I'm gonna pick January 30th all right and you can see that on the right hand side all of my appointments for January now pulled out right here okay so let's say um, I want to uh, see appointments for February I only have Karen Karen Donahue has appointment in February so if I want to check for February I'm gonna go over here check for February let's see, let's see February uh, right here so let's see our appointments for February oh let's do February, February 29. okay so we got Karen let me zoom back out again so we got Karen for February right here all right so I thought this uh, appointment uh, filter can be useful uh, you don't have to use it but I just added it I thought it would be useful okay uh, the other one is filter by sales so if I want to know how many sales I made in a specific month I can also use the same tool all right so I know um, in the month of um, uh, let's say in the month of December last year we had uh, three sales right so let's say I want to find out um, last month sales let me go right here uh, last month December 1st December 30th and right over there you can see to the right that three sales have been filtered out okay so this is a cool tool for you to filter out how many sales you've made uh, again you always have your dashboard this is a much faster way to see how you're doing you know each month okay you see right over here all right so um let's see right here also you can see uh, total sales here for last month which is December uh, is 24,000 let's see if it matches with the dashboard so December last month 24,000 all right so that's a cool way to quickly I would have recommend a dashboard you know it's a cool way to quickly see how you're doing all right now here you got your drop down menus so the drop down menus is where you can customize your drop downs in the incoming data section uh, here is an example of your drop down menu right here for state all right uh, and then there are other ones um, like uh, assigned sales reps uh, lead stage and so on all right so you can come in here you can customize you can add uh, other drop down menus you know that you want to add all right and then uh, this one I think we talked a little bit about the weather forecast so this one acts like a little basket or maybe let's say a storage room okay so anytime your API makes a request to the website we talked about the website is gonna send a collection of data right over here and then it's stored in here like a storage room right and then you can use a formula to display the weather anywhere you want okay uh, let me refresh this so you could display the weather anywhere you want you can choose parts of the weather you want to display using the formula I don't want to get too deep I'm trying to make not to make this video go to way too long so just bear with me um, so the next one here is what I call the AI customer reviews so um, the main point of this page 
is to quickly see um, how your reviews, how you're doing, you know, what kind of reviews are you getting, all right? So when you come in here, I use a formula to pull certain parts of the incoming data to show right here, all right? And it, it includes your reviews, all right? So the date the review was submitted, um, the actual review, okay? And then, uh, you know, like the star, star review, okay, that goes with it. Now, the cool thing that I did right here was I was able to add a AI generated response, okay? So, uh, in order to set it up, um, you are going to need an extension. It's called numerous.ai, all right? So, you're going to need to install it, uh, you know, right into your Google Sheet. And then, uh, once you, it has a sidebar. You know the sidebar is going to show right over here okay and then you, it will generate a formula for you to use to do certain tasks uh, you know on your Google sheet okay so one of the tasks that I wanted to do was I wanted to generate an automated response um, to the, the reviews that are coming in all right so for example right over here uh, right inside of the formula you can see why it says equal AI and then there's a bracket and then the quotation it says write me a three sentence short response to my client's review okay and then once you once you do that and you pull it down like that and then it would automatically respond based on as your client review so our client review our client's reviews are in column K, right? So I'm saying that respond, write me a response to all the reviews in column K, right over here, okay? And then once you pull it down, it will just generate the reviews uh, to match all, all of them. Uh, here's the cool thing. You can even say, uh, let's, let's just test it out a little bit. Let's say, uh, add a joke at the end of the review something like that right and then you hit enter and then it's loading and then right there let's see if he added the joke it says thanks for the awesome review i'm thrilled to hear that you have a great experience and found myself as professional don't forget to tell your friends and family about me they might need some help too and just remember, if anyone asks who's the best, just tell them, you know, a guy. <laughs> well, I guess that's funny. I don't know if that's really funny, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. But anyway, so once you do that, uh, once you do the uh, put in the prompt, you can pull this down like that. All right. And then it will update all these other ones um, right over there let's see oh my god let me see what this one said yeah yeah it's kind of trying to uh, be funny I like to think I'm like a cheetah quick and agile but let's be honest I'm probably more like a slug for a cup of coffee yeah it's trying to add a joke at the end but hey that's not necessary, you know, not, not really a big deal. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so the cool thing about it is you don't really have to do this. Uh, if you're using CBB, CBB can easily generate response to reviews. But I thought for those of you that like to do a lot of things on um, spreadsheet, you know, you can have an AI generated response and you can create a flow that can actually capture this um, review and serve it to the you know to the customer that left the review maybe you put a, a one hour delay 30 minutes delay you know and then uh, your flow will capture this AI generated response and will serve it uh, you know back to the um, to the customer all right so let's let, let's do another thing let's see let's see what happens if assuming this was 
a bad review okay so remember you want to go to your incoming data tab and we're going to change this review i want to see what kind of response the ai will generate so let's say we had a really bad experience so i'm going to write something mean uh i am upset and disgusted at your work I need a refund all right and let's say I just put in this is not really necessary but let's say, say I put in one star so I'm really upset all right so let's assume that this was a bad review so let's see how the AI will respond and right there you can see AI saying now it changed it, the tone um, it says uh, hey there sorry to hear that you are feeling upset and disgusted remember it's based on the client's review let me know what specifically went wrong with you with the work and I'll do my best to make it right for you in the meantime why did the tomato ah that's not a good time to to make a joke right so you want to make sure that you take that joke thing out let me take it out out right here <laughs> yeah so let's take out that joke <laughs> uh, and maybe we could say if the review is negative negative tell the client we will do everything we can to fix it all right and let's hit right here and let it load all right so let's see right here Please reach out to us actually uh, and we'll do everything we can to make things right for you all right that's acceptable all right so we can now um let me zoom out a little bit we can now apply the settings to all the other ones uh, here we don't have any data but they the ai just entered some dummy data right here uh, but anytime a new review comes in, it will apply the right thing. All right, so that's the uh, AI generated uh, response that's working on the sheets, which is awesome. All right, and then the last tab is pretty much documentation. Um, I'm going to be adding more content in here as I detect certain things, as I get feedback from you guys. Uh, you know, I will be updating the documentation part and uh, maybe create videos you know also uh, so if you want a copy of this uh you know let me know right in the comment section let me know what you think if you want a copy of these all right so now we're gonna test we're gonna go through like the lead process right from acquiring a lead uh to uh, making a sale and also uh, asking the lead for a review okay so i'm gonna start off uh, let's assume we're just gonna make believe that maybe we are running uh, some Facebook ads right and we want the Facebook ads to come in through here uh, let's see right here I'm gonna let me move this uh, or should I delete this okay so let's say uh we're running a facebook ad so the lead comes through right here welcome to local advertising agency how can i help you so i'm gonna say uh hi i need an ai chatbot for my business can you help me right so it's saying absolutely uh, we can definitely help you with that all right so it talks about you know free consultation to discuss blah 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 so I'm just gonna go ahead 
um, book an appointment all right i'm trying to keep this video short guys so just bear with me so we're gonna book an appointment um uh it says please enter name valerie cadon do we have valerie cadon on here we don't have Ka valerie cadon let me see real quick yeah we don't have a valerie cadon all right so let's let's say our client is valerie valerie uh first name is entered uh we're gonna ask for the last name let's say the last name is cadon Let's, let's make a fictitious email Valerie Cardone at gmail.com so let's just put an, a number let me just make up something 900 all right so let's assume Valerie lives in Arizona okay over here I just asked her to give me her state just put in a Z and that's it give her an example you don't have to guys but you know I'm just doing this just for demo purposes so Valerie needs a chatbot all right and then now we're gonna ask her to tell us if she has anything further she wants to say maybe something she needs us to know um, maybe I just need a zoom appointment to discuss AI chatbot for my business all right and then um, we let Valerie review as in her information uh, if she wants to make a change she can do that uh, let's say she wants to change her first name so she made a change change my info uh, let's say Valerie wants to keep her name short right she wants to be called Val so she changed her name from Valerie to Val all right and then the change has been applied right there and that looks good for Valerie so she said all right that looks good all right and now Valerie wants to pick an appointment. She said she wanted to make an appointment. So we're going to give her the option to select the date and time. Let's say we have a spot for Valerie tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, and uh, we are available maybe around 11 30. Okay. So tomorrow at 11 30, we have a spot for Valerie. We also asked Valerie how she heard about us. Uh, I'm just going to say Facebook for now because we're running Facebook ads. All right. So we say thanks, Val. We have received your info. Below is the information about your appointment. Now, once we go to our CRM and the incoming data, we can see that Val's information has now been populated right here. Uh, the day um the lead came through it's showing right there uh, that's her information the appointment date time and also the state where valerie is at which she provided that all right and other information all right her notes section right over here all right and stuff like that okay so now valerie we've let's assume that uh, we called Valerie right Valerie gave us her number uh, by the way let's check our dashboard to see if Valerie is showing up on the dashboard all right so if we come in here you can see that Valerie is now displayed as upcoming appointment right over here okay isn't that cool all right her appointment is at 11 30 so she shows up right underneath Gordon Gordon's is a little early a little bit earlier than hers all right and then valerie also shows up right here at the bottom here okay as a new lead the new leads float to the top so that's the settings how i designed it to make so the new leads float to the top because it come a time where you will have 
what maybe 500 to a thousand leads maybe who knows depending on your business you want the new leads to flow to the top okay uh, that way you don't have to use a quick search right uh, you use it only if if it's important okay so now uh, let's assume that uh, we spoke to Valerie she told us about her business uh, let's say she has a uh, Val bakery something like that so now that we have information about Val we can now manually come in in our incoming data and enter that information right as soon as we update uh, Val's company name you could see again right here that this part right here is also updated see right there Val now has Val bakery right here uh, we can assign a value to Val. Let's say based on our conversation with Val, uh, she did not only need an AI chatbot, you notice she probably also need maybe a website, right? She just need a website uh, and uh, an AI chatbot and that's it, right? So let's say we think Val is probably worth maybe uh, $7,000. This is just for your own use, okay? The customer doesn't see that uh we have maybe facebook here all right something like that if you wanna if you wanna put that in there or maybe ai or you know if you wanna put ai facebook something i don't know all right it's just for your own use you don't you don't have to use it i just put that in there thinking you know it might be useful uh, so let's assume we have met with val we explain everything to her it's the fourth let's assume it's the fourth we explain everything to her she said i mean how much is it gonna cost and we sold to val for everything for let's say seven thousand right so val paid we now maybe we asked for that maybe you don't need the address i just put that in there uh let's say val lives on 400 uh west west river Avenue something like that right uh, Val is in Tucson Arizona uh, let's say eight five seven zero one all right now again as I'm updating everything you could see that Val's information is all being updated right here okay you see right there that's a cool thing about having the dashboard all right uh, and that's why you need to do your updates <clears throat> right here in the incoming data section because once you do updates here it updates Val's information globally right all throughout the CRM okay uh, if we go over here to appointments you can see Val's name if I change Val's name in the incoming data it will update it there as well uh, I'm gonna assign it to Angela uh, and let's assume we sold uh, to Val for how much? Maybe seven thousand dollars. Okay, so I'm gonna put my data in here, and then uh, we sold to Val on the same day. Val needed that service real quick. Let's assume we gave um, Angela maybe five hundred dollars worth of commission. All right, uh, and then. Uh, we're gonna switch it over to convert it okay by the way you can also create a flow that will pre-fill this part here which is something I probably need to add to it uh, so it will send um, something like a raw lead once it fills this row okay by default all right so you could do that in the flow I probably should add that I'll make it look cool all right um the lead source facebook service needed chatbot you know uh notes we could leave it like that um and then maybe month of sale let me pull this down here so we sold it to her in january uh she hasn't left us a review yet we're gonna get to that okay so we filled out all the information let's see what's going on in the on the dashboard area okay so we could see that we made a sale, right? Our sale has gone up now. Now Val's state is showing on the map right over here. Okay. Uh, by the way, 
another thing is um, I created uh, another flow well not another flow more like a, a little bit of a condition I added a condition that will check to see if the appointment date and time is passed if that condition is true it's going to delete the appointment date and time okay that way Val will be removed from the upcoming appointment okay so I have a, a condition I added uh, I don't want to go get deeper into all of that but what the condition will do is it will remove uh, it will check first if the appointment date and time is passed okay and then what it will send an update to clear this area right here and that will cause you see how Val is now being removed from the widget okay so I just wanted to mention that that way you know keep things neat and clean all right so now we've sold to Val the next thing we want to do after selling is we want to get an update from Val right we want to see uh, let's assume we did this work remotely all right, we want to get an update uh, or a feedback from Val, right? We did a great job, took us probably about three days or two days. We got the job done, Val. We think Val is happy, right? But we want to know. So we're going to send Val a link. We're going to send Val a link, a review link, so Val can review us. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. And let's assume I send the link to Val. So Val opens his, opens up the link, and it's gonna say, uh, "Hi Val, it was nice working with you. Do you mind giving us a 30 seconds review?" All right. So she goes ahead and say, "Yeah, sure. I'm gonna review you guys." And let's say Val is very happy. Val is very happy, right? We did a great job. So we're gonna ask Val to just tell us something. So Val will say, uh. I am so happy with my AI chatbot. By the way, guys, it's amazing how AI has changed chatbots, man. AI is, is amazing. It's amazing. And a lot of the things that I did with this Google Sheet CRM was made possible by ChatGPT. And what I mean is that there are moments when I get stuck, right? Sometimes I write certain formulas and it doesn't work. This thing is pretty much like building a software, right? So you get stuck somewhere. Sometimes you, you discover bugs sometimes, but uh, a lot of times I go to chat GPT, you know, and then it, it helps me out. You know, it tells, it points out where, what I'm doing wrong. And then I, you know, I correct it. It's all part of the game. Uh, so uh, Val says, I'm happy with my AI chatbot. Uh, it saves me a lot of time. This is great. Thanks. All right. So something like this. So Val sends us a review. Okay. And then we say, thank you, Val. Val's review should populate right over here. Where is it? Where is it? So it's right here. You can see Val's review. Let me format this part here so I can see it better. Yeah, so it says, I'm so happy with your AI chatbot. It saves me a lot of time. All right, so now let's see if the AI generated a response for Val. So if we go in here, we could see Val again showing up here. And we're going to go over here to the right side. And yes! AI generated a response for Val. Look at that. Okay. AI generated a response. All right. It says, I'm glad to hear that you are happy with your AI chatbot. We are always looking for ways to make your, our technology more efficient and user friendly. So it's great to hear that it's saving you time. So again, it's looking at the um, review and it's generating a response. All right. If there is anything you can do, is there anything we can do to make your experience even better, let us know. So this is really cool. You can create a condition or uh, a flow to grab this response and send it back to Val. 
now you don't have to like if you're using cbb you know as soon as val just type something in you know the ai will respond to val but you could use you could generate a code and you can see right here i did that hold on all right again it's not necessary but i thought it's cool right so you can generate a flow the flow will grab this and will send it back to val after a specific delay you know based on how you want to customize it so you can see that it grabbed it from the sheet and sent it to val and it, I also added an audio version of it. You know, that's part of, um, you know, that's the cool thing with AI, all right? For those of you who wanna uh, use AI in Sheets, this is just a little snippet of what it can do. I'm sure there's so much, so many other things you could do with AI in Sheets. You can use it to create, um, you know, let's say you're having a promotion or some products that you want to create an advertising you know an ad copy something like that right you could use it and tell it you know fill all the products in here with the features and all of that just copy paste them in here scramble them somewhere in here and tell ai to look at the information in that column and create a nice ad for those products or maybe a nice uh valentine's day promo you understand and then ai will generate you know but again you don't have to use sheets you could just go to chat gpt and do it but i just thought it's cool to be get everything working in one place like over here right that's pretty cool so yeah i also have documentation and, and stuff like that that you can check uh and if you having any problems i'm gonna continue to update this part here uh, when I get your feedbacks and other things and I add more stuff. All right. So you guys, you, this is a nice um, Google Sheet CRM for an agency. You know, an agency can use this. Very beautiful. Because it's built on Google Sheets. Google Sheets integrates with pretty much almost every software out there. So uh, you can integrate Calendly and so many different software, right? Uh, so you don't have to worry about integration, all right? Um, oh, by the way, hey, check this out. Val's review showed up right here. Isn't that cool? So you can just see all of the updates on your dashboard. Look at Val's review. That's nice. Anyways, so this is kind of like a basic version. I don't know if I'm going to expand on it. What I'm thinking of doing, based on your feedback, if you guys like this, that will probably give me a lot of um, juice to to add to it, okay? But that will all be based on your feedback. If you don't like it, I probably wouldn't want to do more. But I'm thinking of even adding a mobile app version where you can um, carry your CRM with you on the go. So you can, you know, uh, install a nice, cute mobile app. You don't have to go to you know apple store to install it it's gonna be like a web-based mobile app right so it's gonna be integrated right here into the crm and it will grab certain information uh you know specific information in here and uh you know you can see what's going on you know on the go if you need to call somebody uh let's say if you need to make a call to val for example the app will let you click on a, a, an icon and right there you make the call okay so i'm thinking about that uh if you want that also let me know your you know your feedback how you feel about something like this is this something you can use do you you know should i go on to improve it you know i can add maybe like monthly sales and expenses you know net profit calculation you know and all kinds of different things to make it look even way better but so this is more like the first uh, prototype if you would um, you know so let me know your thoughts all right if you need a copy uh, what I'm gonna do is I will post the view version in the right underneath the video somewhere or at the top of the video somewhere post a link to the chat bot that is integrated with this so you can you know test it out and then you can just take a look at it I will pretty much lock certain parts of the sheet but if you want a copy, let me know, okay? 
I'll send you a copy. If you need customization, uh, I'll take a look at it. If it's something that's going to work, we can talk about it. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I didn't want it to be a long video. Uh, I wanted to keep it under one hour. I think AI is going to blow our minds even more this year. Uh, use this technology, you know, to do good stuff. Be creative, you know, uh, and uh, let's make things happen. All right. Thank you, guys. And um, I'm out. Uh, take care. And have a wonderful year. All right. Bye.